On this week's episode, it's part two of the beautiful Girraween National Park. We walk the Granite Arch, the Dr. Roberts World Hole, and the Underground Creek tracks, and tackle the Mount Norman Road four wheel drive track. Sit down, relax, and enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, yeah, and tell your friends. Peace be the journey. Good afternoon. Just going for a walk to Bald Rock Creek and the Granite Arch, I think it is. Beautiful afternoon, but it's pretty fresh. This is Bald Rock Creek. Bits of Girl Scouts here today. Very polite. Hey, Dal, how are you? Good, yourself? Good, thank you. Very polite. Heading up to Granite Arch and Bald Rock, I think it's called. Just found this unusual rock. Let's take a uh, of a shot of training. Just about at the granite arch, which is another 300 meters, but just some big boulders in here. Huge. Wonderfully kept walking paths and amenities. They're amazing. Very, very clean. Big fella's going to attempt to get in. You have to go down low. Oh. <laughs> go down, you have to crawl. Oh. Command. Oh, Commando. <laughs> don't, get, don't get stuck. Sleeping here. You want me to come in or? I want you to come out. Oh, you want me to come down and say hello? Or you... Oh, I should get out of there. Oh, I'll get out this other way. I won't get out of there. Why? Oh, I probably could. Give it a crack. You reckon? Yeah, give it a crack. Oh, no, I think I'll get out of there. She'll be right. Oh. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> Hang on. Chest is too big. <laughs> Hang on. Just arrived at the Granite's Arch. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Would not want that to topple over. Amazing. That's up there. Got that boulder on top. I don't, it's barely sitting on anything either side. It's quite amazing. It's got that pathway in between. Then you got all those little ones, got that little one sitting there. That one there. And these fellas. I don't know. Kids or something must have climbed up there. Yeah. It's just amazing, all these big, big rocks. All right, we'll keep going. Just arrived at the Dr. Roberts waterhole. Uh, it's a 1.2k walk and we're going to keep going another 2.8 k's uh, to the underground creek looks pretty cool we'll video more when we get there change of plan we're going to the underwater creek first 
paths are still pretty good. Not as pretty as our walk yesterday, I don't think. But this underground ground creek should be pretty cool. swampy in here I'm not sure what Bernie wants me over there for for the creatures Is there a creature here? Oh, no creatures. I wonder if that's a water hole. That's great. Just about at the underground creek. It's a bit windy so I'm trying to block that wind out of the speaker so hopefully it works. Not a bad walk down here, quite easy. Or downhill pretty much so it's all uphill back which sucks but Maybe it. See some big boulders here. Just arrived at the Underground Creek. You can see, you can hear the water running under. Someone's running under these massive rocks. It's pretty cool that rock there. It's like. Small wave rock, <laughs> Western Australia. Yeah, so you can hear the water up here, so keep going. Oh. Gotta get a selfie stick, I think. Bloody granite rocks are amazing. They're everywhere. Massive big boulders. All right, we'll go back around and see what we can find around here. <laughs> that was no different to what you would have done before. It's got a song there, so that's not helping. from where we were, it was a bit difficult getting through there. Now I'm under this wave rock. So the water's coming through down here. You can hear it. Let's go further up. Yeah, you can see it, hear it and see it flowing there. 
what goes underneath this massive big rock face. See where the water's been here. There you go. So it comes out. You don't go much further here. It's all water down there. It's back to train. Look at those rocks, amazing. It's interesting to go up there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna see if I can get down there, get up into that, into that tunnel. Okay, this is cool. I'm gonna go up in there somehow. This is where I've just come. This rock hop through there, you see my hat and that up on, this, on top of the rock there in the centre screen. Yeah, I'll try and try and keep this video on. I've got to get a got to get a, bray, a, go, a GoPro uh, harness or something. Yeah. Can't get much too much further here. Just drape me up there and through that hole, but it looks a bit slippery there. I'll give it a crack. Turn the camera off. Nearly climb up through there. Maybe. If you didn't have a bun there, I'd bloody die that. Anyway, right, I'll give this one a crack over here. Maybe see you on the other side. That's cool. I just climbed up here, holding on to the other rock. I don't know how to get down. I'll worry about that later. Come on through here. This is cool. I don't know if you can see this on the video. All the little canyons here. This water trapped in them. That just keeps going. Look at that. So Bernie's decided to go down into some little hole up there in the rocks to try and find the water. So I'm hoping he comes out safely. Time will tell, I guess. It's pretty peaceful. Sort of a little bit like Wave Rock over in WA. Obviously not as big and grand, but... Hmm. Guys, I hope this video lasts. I've got enough storage. Here we are looking back. There's that looking, sort of footpathy looking thing again. It's just a seam of, I don't know, quartz or granite. Don't know. It's pretty cool. So just jump over here, hop a couple more rocks. Hopefully I can um, get thrown away. Maybe I can, maybe get out this way. So I don't have to go back down through that um, a cave because it's a bit slippery. Okay. 
That's a train down there, center of screen. So I've walked along there, see my hat. Walked up this cavern here. Through the cave, sort of cave sort of area there. And up there. And that's where all those cannons and caverns and shit were. That path and thing I was talking about. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. You come up here, don't just sort of walk up in the middle of the waterfall. Go up, I could, you could spend a, an hour or two up here. Walking, sort of walking up the creek. But I'm going to have to get back. I'm, like I said, I'm nearly out of video. I should have bought the bloody drone. Honey, it's really windy. This would have been ideal for the drone. So over time, that big wave rock just there has crapped and crumbled and um, weathered, which means all of that white rock down there or yellow rock has collapsed. Now the water flows underneath it, giving this its name of the underground creek. So I didn't have to send out a search party. I found him on top of the rock. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't go that way. Have you got the Garmin? It's over there. Oh no, it's there. <laughs> oh no, you're right. I can sort of, sort of see. See where I'm going. I can see a truck over there. Okay, be careful. These rocks are amazing. I just, I honestly don't think the camera probably does it justice. I've had to find my way off this rock. I've gone a step another way because the waterfall is too slippery for me. So I've come down here. I think I can drop down, drop down through the bush. There's no creatures here. Oh, look at that. Piece of piss. Piece of piss. <coughs> Jump down here. Get okay, in this little waterfall. On me bum. It's the only way to get down, get down there. Okay, and we just got a bit of a bush track back to the, back to terrain. I, I can see her in the distance, you probably can't. She's way down. Just see her through the trees there. Center of camera behind that, uh, in between that black tree and brown tree. I tell you, that's amazing up there. Do yourself a favour, get up here and have a look around this Girawine. It's um, it's a nice place, well maintained. Um, yeah, like I said flushing toilets, not pit toilets, flushing toilets. Um, yeah, it's good. Here's, let's see where the creek comes out underneath the. This big rock again here. And we're back down the bottom. Oh, it's just starting to rain. So suddenly I've got to get back to my hat and everything. There's a train. I'll just jump over here. Yeah, up there. Alright, I'll go back across here and get my hat. We're on our way back to the junction uh, where we turned off to come down to the underground creek. 
and then we turn left once we're there and go down 400 meters to the waterhole nice cool day today but just raining a minute ago so hopefully that holds off until we get home or back to the car at least just taking the track back down to Dr Roberts waterhole 400 meters each way this is Dr Roberts waterhole Dr Roberts was actually a GP that founded the area goes back up there can't really see Rubbish. I put leaving the rubbish around. Pisses me off. It's only tissue, but how hard is it to take it out the bin? Take it with you. Back at the car park. Big girl. Just give a shout out to Cindy Lau, I think you pronounce it, from Facebook. She designed this sticker for us. And to Einstein's in Brendale that made it up. Looks awesome. We just come on a four wheel drive track. Bernie's just letting the tires out. Mate, she's pretty. That doesn't really do it justice, to be honest with you. week's episode we head back to a few months ago when we done our first farm sit in central western new south wales watch our adventures of our 14 days of farm life which we were so grateful for and loved every second you'll see a couple of russell coit moments and see that we're definitely not farmers thanks again for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe peace be the journey